Reggie here, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. As I mentioned in yesterday's video, which was a mega CGC unboxing, today I was going to do another unboxing. Another box showed up here at CGC. This one is a little smaller of a box, but I think that there are some really cool books inside. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's in here. And the first book is a really awesome one book awesome book and to some degree dovetails with what was showed yesterday. Uh, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number one, the fourth printing. Yesterday we showed a different TMNT book. This one is the fourth print. I'm sorry. Yeah, the fourth printing came back a 9.4 with white pages and definitely a, a cool book right there. A little wraparound cover action going on. I think Kevin Eastman was at uh, San Diego Comic-Con. I think he did a couple of interviews with some YouTubers while he was there. So it's cool that we're unboxing some uh, some turtle books right now. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So clearly there's a theme. Clearly I must have been on a turtle theme. This is the exact same book, the fourth printing of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number one. This one came back a 9.0 with white pages. So again, a cool book. And again, for those folks that may not have seen yesterday's video, uh, the slabs that are coming out of CGC do indeed have the QR code on the back that allows people to actually look up the uh, the graders notes, I do believe, for free. <laughs> I, I didn't know I'd sent this many turtle books in. Um, I, I'll be honest. I don't even remember sending these books in at all. That's probably how long they've been gone. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, again, issue number one. Uh, 9.2 white pages and every single book that I think is in here, but certainly every book that was in yesterday's video came out of the 100K collection. So uh, what is this? Oh my goodness. Thank you for not being a book. Uh, another one of those. It is, however, a book that I think I showed yesterday. Um, this is Tales, Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number one. This one came back a 9.6 with white pages. I found a ton of copies of this book in the collection. There are a lot of turtle books overall, but there were a healthy number of tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So we'll see whether we get a 9.8 here. That is not a 9.8. This one is not in any way, shape, or form. This one came back a 7.5. Uh, I don't know what, what I was thinking. Maybe I just grabbed a bunch of books and threw them in a bin and sent them in. This one definitely has some visible, visible defects. No doubt about that one. I can, I can see them clearly with my eye. Came back a, uh, 7.0, 7 point, no, 7.5, 7.5 white pages, however. So we go from a 9.6 to a 7.5, uh, not exactly, uh, the best look. Um, oh, this is cool. This is, I found a huge, huge stack. Is this all turtles? This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number 47. This has a backup story, a backup space Usagi story, 9.6 with white pages right there. And you can see space Usagi on the back side. So uh, I'm not certain um, if I have more of these in here, we'll see. Uh, yeah, we do. We have a, a, a 9.2 here of this one. I may have to call this a all turtle haul if this continues the way that it's going. Uh, issue number 47 right there again. Uh, this one came back a 9.2 also with white pages. And we have a couple more books here. Oh, that's cool. There we go. We scored a, a 9.8 on this one. Again, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 47. This one came back a 9.8. That's a, a very cool grade for this book. And, and again, I have a lot of these in the collection as well. I want to say I found at least at least two bundles that look like they were directly from Diamond Steel. Completely sealed is basically where those actually came from. And uh, the last book is not. It is not a Turtles book. Uh, we were definitely going down a path, but it is not a Turtles book. Can I get out the plastic? Um, this is Heir to the Empire. Heir to the Empire Star Wars uh, issue number one. It came back only only a 9.0. I found several copies of this in the collection. I want to say I have at least one more 
at CGC being graded. This one came back a, a 9.0. And, and again, it does have some defects, as you would imagine, with that grade, much of which are very apparent on the spine of this one. A lot of flaking, a lot of ink loss down the spine of this one. So not exactly surprised that it came back a 9.0, but thankful that it did come back with white pages. So uh, that is essentially the whole mostly terrible stuff. Uh, <laughs> I sent these books in who knows when, not quite sure what I was thinking at the time, but, but clearly there was definitely some, uh, turtles on my mind. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't seen the mega CGC unboxing from yesterday, I encourage you guys to go back and check that video out. I unboxed 21 comics that have come in from CGC. So a lot of books in a relatively short period of time between that unboxing and this one. But I hope you guys enjoyed the content. And if you did, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment behind. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. Before I let you go, if you haven't placed an order for isolation issue number one, I want to encourage you to head over to my website, ReggieCollects.com and place your order for any number of covers that are being offered on the website. I'm still honestly in the process of processing through all the orders that have been placed, but I also don't want you to miss out on getting a copy of this amazing comic written by Doug Bratton and illustrated by Delia Gunderson. ReggieCollects.com. Take care. Rolling, rolling, rolling.